So large professor, extra P, okay? Large Pro is a super dope producer, a great MC, you know? Uh, he DJs, he kind of does it all, jack of all trades. Um, you know, he was mentored by Paul C. And Paul C. like showed him the tricks, man. Gave him the tricks and gave him an SB12. Let him take it home for a while, a couple weeks. And I think Large Pro, you know, made, you know, 40 beats on it. Uh, at the time, Paul, uh, Large Professor's also, his name is also Paul. So don't, uh, I'll try not to go down that road. Uh, at the time, uh, Large Professor um, was making tape loops. And so really advanced like what he could do. And yeah, like uh, he just was a kid at the time, you know, teenager. And he was spending a ton of time in the studio uh, at 12-12 at with Paul C. He was showing him all the ins and outs. And, um, you know, at the, you know, Paul C. was, at, you know, working on a bunch of different records then. And um, a notable one was uh, the album Let the Rhythm Hit Him by Eric B. and Rakim. Now, uh, we know that, you know, Rakim did like mostly everything on those, on those Eric B. and Rakim records. Uh, did a lot of the, the scratches, and he actually did a lot of the beats. Um, Ra still has and makes beats on SP-1200 and has one in his house, you know, in honor of, of Paul C. So, um, so anyways, uh, Ra was also working really heavy with, 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 with Paul C on making Let the Rhythm Hit Him. And um, basically after Paul C was murdered, Large Professor, who knew a bunch of his techniques, was familiar with what he was doing on that record, finished out Let the Rhythm Hit Him, uh, producing it. Obviously uncredited um, in so many ways, just like Paul C was uncredited. Uh, and Eric B gets the credit, um, but you can hear it on the on the title track here. Let the rhythm hit him. It's just like super knocking, super dark uh, production style. Let the rhythm hit him. A little bit different than everything that pre-existed it, and it's all of Paul Paul C's techniques executed by Large Pro. Um, he is the main uh, MC. In this group, the main source, a very influential uh, hip hop group from the mid, you know, mid 80s, early 90s. Uh, Large Professor did the beats on this, he did all the rhymes on it, he basically just did uh, everything on it. But um, yeah, this is a, that's a major record right there. Uh, it has a track on it called Live at the Barbecue. It's the first song that Nas ever appeared on. Just a little history for you. Um, but yeah, like basically, you know, Large Pro is known for many things, but really for taking what the advancements of Paul C and showing them to the world. You know, showing them to other producers, putting them on record, um, you know, and and making them prominent and making them staples in, in, in this. And he's really known as a digger too. You know, he's really a crate digger. I mean, the dude, the dude digs. He's got records. He's, he samples all the time. Check him out on, on Instagram if y'all fucking with that. Um, but yeah, he, he's very well known here. Now, uh, this is the cut here, man. Uh, looking at the front door, you know, um, this is all Large Professor on here. He did the lyrics, he did the beats. And this song uh, is just like an incredible, incredible song. There's like a few songs we'll talk about today. Um, looking at the front door and they reminisce over you. If you're ever around a bunch of older people who like hip hop like myself, and let's say you're DJing, you want to see us kick holes in the roof and do backflips and shit? Play this song. We'll know the lyrics, dance around like teenagers. Um, I don't know. This song is just one of those joints. But it's just, you know, 
Large Pro talking about a bad relationship. You know, we, we fight, fight every, every night. night. That's now not that's kosher. Not I reminisce kosher. with Bliss. I reminisce with Bliss. We're moving closer. closer. Um, and we go, and he hooks up a nice, a nice funky, rare sample on this record. And it's just a classic, classic, classic uh, hip-hop cut. That you, you just got to know. It's just in the... Um, the canon of hip-hop music that y'all gotta be familiar with.